So I'm going to show you a, an easy way, or, or yeah, probably in my opinion, some of the easiest ways in, to get into custom typography. Right, I'm going to make a baseline for where we want the R to end up. So somewhere like here. And what I'm going to do now is basically distort these texts in order to rotate them around the head a little bit. So I'm going to do that by going to edit, transform, warp. And I'm just going to go and drag these down. All right, so now we have our reference and we'll just lower the opacity of that. So let's check on smoothing. Uh, we don't really need to check on transfer, uh, but we do shape dynamics and we do control the pen pressure, I guess. So we can change the size of our brush. So the harder I press on my tablet, the larger the brush becomes. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at the reference one more time. So it has like these squiggly lines. Uh, so it's a little bit psychedelic. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try to keep that in mind. So we want to try to keep these hard edges if I'm doing a corner. So I don't want to do these rounded edges. Maybe, maybe at some places where it is actually in the letter. So um, I don't really have an example. Yeah, maybe here, like we're, doing, we're not going to make the letter D like this. But um, yeah, I don't want to do it the E like this, because then it's going to be more of a tribal thing, right? See? Um, so we do want to keep these hard edges around the corner. And I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but I, I always try to, 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 to recognize like rules when I'm doing typography, if that makes sense. Uh, because I, I am not a trained typography person. I'm just doing whatever looks good in my opinion. So. Uh, see what I mean? Like this doesn't really work. So what I'm going to do is just make the edge hard like that. And I'm going to make sure that there's a lot of like uh, space in here. We do have all the space to lower the point of the F here if we want to. And I think I don't want to do that because otherwise there's going to be a lot of empty room in here. And then we'll just do this. And actually what I'm going to do is the last point of the F here. So this one and this one, uh, I want to sit, I, I want to do it symmetrical. So I'm just going to add the symmetry option uh, and we'll just do it like this. Ah, yeah. So they, they were kind of like rounding off in, at, around the end. I don't really like that because then it doesn't really fill this that much. So let's just go and I don't know, doing something drastic. I kind of like it. Maybe a little bit less. So maybe I would like go to here. So let's just put this guy up make sure that the edge is hard don't want to make these too thin uh, but yeah we're gonna see that once we are further up in the process of the lettering okay so um, maybe we do something like this this thingy as well so we'll just turn on the symmetry again and I'm just gonna follow along until it reaches that part I guess all right so uh, now we can just turn off the text reference and now we have this outline of our text and now we can just lower the opacity on this for the sake of this live stream because we're in an hour and 50 minutes now um, I think I'm just gonna yeah, like if I do this for a client I have these the this thing like I know refined sketch like over and over and over again but for the sake of this live stream I'm not gonna sit there for eight hours because I still need to grab something to eat so what I'm gonna be doing is just inking this sketch right away um, okay, first I'm going to do the symmetrical stuff. Uh, this I don't really care about doing sym symmetrically, but for usually like this is the most important thing. So I'll just smoothly go over here. Um, so I don't really like the feeling of drawing tablets uh, compared to when I draw on paper. And that's why I turn on the smoothing because that kind of helps with that feeling. So what I'm going to be doing is actually fill all of these guys up.
and see uh, if we need to fix the typing because yeah if you do the outline you don't really see uh, everything so for example there might be some parts that are a little bit too thick or too thin for example here in the letter d i think this line is just a little bit too small so let's just do it like this um what else what else usually what i would do if i had to make this like into a vector logo or whatever um I would, of course, fight you these edges here and make these sharp and stuff like that. But since we're going to use the same effect that you can see on the header, I think there's gonna, it's going to be rounded off anyways if we look at the dots and stuff right here because of the stamp filter. So I'm not going to do that. And it's also because it saves time, of course. Um, and that's what we just talked about. We do like saving time as graphic designers, right, guys? Hey, guys, Tommy from Dreadlabs. I want to thank you for watching this live stream highlight. If you want to see the full live stream, you can find it on my Patreon channel as well as all of the project files I used in this live stream. By becoming a patron, you do not only support the channel, but you will also get access to all of the project files from all of my tutorials, a 15% discount in my asset web store, as well as an exclusive Discord role on the Dreadlabs Discord server. If you go one tier up, you'll also get access to exclusive tutorials, such as how to make death metal logos from scratch if you're into lettering. If you want to become a patron member, there's a link down in the description. But if you don't have the budget to support Dreadlabs like that, of course that's completely fine as well. Leaving a like, comment and a subscribe if you haven't already, already helps out a lot. I hope you enjoyed this livestream highlight and if you want to see more of them, let me know in the comments. See you later.